I'm Robert Mirapol, the Executive Director of the Rosenberg Fund for Children. I wish I could join you today, uh, but I stand, send this video instead. Um, my name is Robert Mirapol, but I was born Robert Rosenberg. Uh, I have a personal knowledge of FBI harassment because when I was three years old, my birth parents, Ethel and Julius Rosenberg, were arrested by the FBI and ultimately executed by the United States government after being found guilty of conspiracy to commit espionage. And there was a campaign mounted to save their lives, but that campaign did not even start until well after their trial and death sentence. Now, since September 11th, we've felt echoes of the McCarthy period, the period that led to my parents' execution. And since that time, since 9-11, terrorism has been substituted for communism. In other words, anybody who fought for peace and justice and opposed United States policy during the McCarthy period was branded a communist and a traitor. And now, many of those who are fighting for peace and justice and international solidarity are labeled people who are providing support for the international terrorist conspiracy. And we've learned a lot since the McCarthy period. One of the things we've learned, and that it's clear you've learned, is that the best way to deal with this sort of attack, this sort of repression, is to resist, is to be outspoken, to gather a community of support. And that's what you've done. I applaud you for that and encourage your continued resistance and want to assure you that the Rosenberg Fund for Children is part of that community of resistance. And we stand behind you 10,000 strong and will do whatever it takes to help you succeed.